Lisk, your problems are not my concern. Once you have delivered the Ark as per your contract, your payment will be transferred by the IMC. Just have my money ready. I'll get you your precious cargo, you useless nap. Oi, Titan! You're gonna open up and give me what I want. Voice command. Not recognized. Let me just rip it out of him. Can't risk it. The Ark's unstable. Listen, hero. You have what's mine, and I want it back. Go on. Tell your Titan to open up. About what? His feelings? <sighs> Still trying to be a hero, eh? I have a lot of dodge riding on this contract, my friend. So tell your Titan, if he doesn't open up, I will shoot you in the head. Pilot in jeopardy. Ocular systems. Marginal. Cannot visually acquire pilot. Stand him up. Do you see him now? Right here. Right here. Yeah? You see him now? Functions compromised by severe crash damage. I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down. Some things, some things still work in there. Now open up, or I'm going to shoot your pilot in the head. You still remember numbers, don't you? I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Three. Nah, that wasn't so hard, was it? That's the problem with teams. If you don't win together, you die together. Damn it. BT. Cooper, over here. Cooper, I can no longer uphold the mission. But you still can. Take the seer kit. It is your best chance for survival. Briggs. If you can read me, get 
Get to the bridge one click north of your position. We've only got one shot to turn this fight around, and you're it. Our fleet's moving in on the fold weapon. We're coming. It's not over yet. Damn right it's not over. Glad to have you back in one piece, BT. Over 25,000, actually. <laughs> BT-7274 online and ready for combat. It is time to complete our mission. Roger that, BT. Copy that, Commander. These guys mess with the wrong pilot. One way to tear it up. The Stockton just went dark. Give me a sit rep now. Captain Landiger of the Rutledge. The Stockton took a broadside. It's going down. Jeez. Commander Briggs, this is Gates of the Sixth Four. Are we late to the party? You're just in time, Gates. How much juice do you have left in the Malta? We've got plenty to spare. Don't worry, Coop. We've got your back. Target systems online. We are weapon packed. Excessive damage. Warning. Warning. Fire! Danger close! I'm barely breaking this. Smart war ready. Fire! Not even a Vanguard can stop a laser core pilot. I can 
dodge it though. the grinder. Attention IMC personnel. This is General Marder. The mercenaries have delivered the arc. Prep the fold weapon. Initiating preliminary fold weapon power systems. Powering up targeting responders. Set location to the militia planet Harmony. Initiating targeting systems. Harmony. Coordinates 264.588 recorded. Come on, we gotta move, move, move. You have your money, Blisk. Now go. My forces will take over from here. That time they do something. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's all yours. Keep the salvage. Who said anything about salvage? I'll do this one for free. You know what I see when I look at you? A part of you for money. Good on health. Smart core ready. Ah. We down. Save the smart core. Smart core. Right. I'm ready for more. Get out of the way of that. Smart. Detecting home. Come on, you Burke. Hold the beat. Let's right here. Top. 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 Let's see how you handle some reapers. Gold weapon approaching stage four. Ring momentum at 97%. Let me tighten down. Come around on these guys. Say it again, be careful what you wish for. Warning. Expect a black mix on a troop. threshold. All personnel must clear the chamber immediately. Disruption of electromechanical units is 
Including Titans will be I will not be destroyed by not being able to for a pilot. That's right, you're gonna get destroyed by me instead. Nice try, love, but I'm no pushover. Talk is cheap. going to kill you. I don't work for free. But you don't get to kill me either. Yeah, you earned this, eh? Listen, that Vanguard class Titan is still in there. Not my problem, Marta. Should have put it in my contract. I've got other people with money to see. What are you doing? Come on. Cooper, I require your assistance. My auto navigation systems are, are, are offline. Can get me into that injector assembly. We must do this together. Beyond luck at this point. Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back, pilot. Protocol 3. Protect the pilot. BT, what are you doing? Trust me. BT!
BT. Oh. Pilot Cooper. A lot of people owe their lives to you. And to BT. Barker, set a course for Harmony. Take us home. You got it. The destruction of Typhon saved the planet Harmony. The militia calls this planet their headquarters. The millions of others call it home. Commander Briggs says I'll be inducted into the Marauder Corps and assigned a new Titan. After the techs wipe what's left of my neural link with BT. I don't know what that'll feel like to get assigned a new Titan. I kind of like the old one. This is Pilot Jack Cooper, signing off. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Titanfall 2. <laughs> Holy smokes, that was good. Um, by far, probably one of the best single player campaigns for a first person shooter uh, that I've ever played, or at least in a very long time. Um, the biggest complaint, I think, for most people going in was the duration. Uh, most people completing the game five, six hours, something like that. Um, I'm kind of used to that time frame for shooters. I really don't have any complaints. Um, short but sweet, but really, I think they, they packed in uh, quite a bit of content there, and I loved every second of it. I'm sure we could nitpick, think of things that were, you know, not so great, but at this point in time, as of me recording this, I can't think of anything. Uh, you know, everything is still very fresh. I might have to, you know, sleep on it, but zero complaints. Um, it was just too good. It was immersive. Uh, the gameplay mechanics. Uh, the mixture of infantry and titan combat, it was well balanced. Um, visuals, sounds, the level design, award winning. Uh, one of the best aspects of the game I think was, was the level design and the gameplay mechanics. Uh, I keep thinking about the, the whole uh, time jumping mission. That was very unique. Don't think I've ever really seen anything like that before. Absolutely incredible. Matthew Mercer as Jack Cooper. That guy gets around. Great voice actor. I've never had such an emotional attachment to a machine, BT. There he is. <laughs> They did a fantastic job of building that relationship between Cooper and BT. I really love these end credits, by the way. How they're showing all the characters. It's a nice little touch. Blisk. An interesting villain. True mercenary through and through. I have a feeling we'll see him again. Let me tell you something, if there's a Titanfall 3, I'll be there, no doubt about it. We'll be doing a playthrough of that. Ah, oh, these mercenaries, these were definitely some characters. Cocky son of a guns, that's for sure. Whew, man, that was just, oh, it was just fantastic. I kind of feel like playing it again. Maybe up the difficulty level a little bit, see how it is on uh, the next one up. I generally play everything on normal, just because that's usually what the developer uh, targets for their core design. Um, I'm all about immersion first. You know, I want to be in this 
universe. I want to be in this story. I want to be the main character. Uh, you know, playing this, I was Jack Cooper. BT was my friend. You know, I felt like I was in this cinematic adventure. Um, and the same could be said for my other playthroughs that I've done. Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Remastered. I love immersive gameplay, and I think um, doing campaign playthroughs is my new favorite thing. It's just so enjoyable, and I love sharing it with all of you. Uh, so thank you so very much for joining me. It's, it's very much appreciated. I love, absolutely love sharing these adventures, and uh, hopefully we can find some more to share. This was just so good, though. I'm going to miss it. Game still does have quite a bit of multiplayer uh, that I can mess with. I hope the game does well. Uh, there's a lot of titles that came out recently. Battlefield 1, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Titles that might perhaps uh, overshadow this. I guess that's our new Titan there. Definitely not going to be the same if it's not BT. BT sacrifice at the end there, that was... I couldn't say anything, I couldn't speak. It was just intense. There's so much more story to tell, I think. I really hope this game does well. Get out there and buy yourself a copy. Play this game. Play some of the multiplayer, play the single player campaign, even if you've watched this. Uh, you could see the blood, sweat, and tears that went into developing it. The first Titanfall, we didn't get a real uh, campaign. It was mixed in with the multiplayer. You got story through playing that, but it kind of took the control away from you. So we all wanted a real campaign. We finally got it, and it's amazing. Um, I hope Respawn's proud of themselves, because this was just fantastic. I also hope that uh, everyone enjoyed my presentation of the game. Uh, as always, I try not to talk over dialogue. I, I really want the voice actors to be able to do their job. And uh, I want the game to speak for itself. I'm just uh, the cameraman and the stuntman, really. I like to spend my time exploring when possible and uh, adding in my own lines if necessary. Um... Jack Cooper didn't have a whole lot of dialogue, so it did kind of give me an opportunity to uh, say things that related to a given situation. And I think that's fun. I think that's stuff that I do in my head or out loud if I'm playing a game, even when I'm not filming it for a playthrough. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of that freedom, but... I love a game that has great voiceover. Uh, it, it adds to the immersion factor, definitely. But, you know, just looking at these end credits, I can't help but think that there's room for so much more. And uh, I really want this game to do well so that we have a third. I mean, I think Respawn is fairly passionate about this franchise. I mean, it was their first project coming away from uh, developing Call of Duty games and titles of that nature. and So I think this means a lot to them. Hopefully, uh, people recognize how good this is and give it a shot. This is one of those games that you got to support. This wasn't just some tacked-on single-player experience. This was blood, sweat, and tears. This is some this is some work here. And again, people complain about duration, but you gotta understand what goes into creating something like this on top of creating a multiplayer experience. There's a lot under the hood of this game. There's plenty of content here, and they're not even going to charge for new maps and modes. They're daring to be different in that respect as well. No more fracturing the community. So with that said, 
here's to a Titanfall 3. Ladies and gentlemen, really hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.